mixed start to the season. Uh, what's your view on it so far? How's it going? I think it's going well. Um, I think it was a mixed start, obviously, to the to the uh, maybe first few weeks of the season. But I think it's, it takes time to to bed players in, you know, in the way that I want it done. Um, you know, we finished off the end of last season playing a different system to what we're playing now. Um, and personnel is a taking us away from what we've done last season um, to what we're doing now. Um, so, so, so I think I think they're doing all right now. I think well, I think I think now they're doing very well. You know, um, I'm really really pleased with the way they're playing, the way they're doing things. Uh, they've just got to get a little bit more consistency about the play. Um, but they know where I'm coming from on that and what I demand of them. Um, so at the moment I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy the way that things are going. The way, you know, it, 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 it could be better because you know I say I still want. I still like us to be up there amongst the right, amongst the top, the top clubs in the league. Yeah. We're a tiny bit off at the moment, but there's still room for improvement, and I think we're gonna. I think we've got enough in us to push. Okay. Uh, what do you think has been the best game we've played this season, and the one that you're most proud of with the boys for their performance? Um, it's a cool one, really. To be fair, uh, probably, you know, we didn't get the result that we wanted, but probably the Hemel game. Yeah. You know, they've come here uh, um, with a good record, you know, and doing well. And they're up, you know, if they if they come here and they get the win, they go top of the league. Um, the character to bounce back from a disappointing performance at Bath, um, what they brought to the game then, was good. They were patient when they didn't have the ball and they got... We got behind the ball and we were disciplined about our uh, defensive roles and defensive play. And then when we got the ball, we hit them. Mm-hmm. You know, and only that we just didn't quite have the end product at times. We could have won that game, I think, yeah. by two or three goals. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I don't think that would have been unjust, like in, mm-hmm. in the way that, you know, the sides were. Um, so there's a positive, obviously, reaction, first of all, to what happened at Bath, where they were very, very poor and they didn't turn up. And you know my feelings on that. Mm-hmm. But the reaction was very good, so that's a positive. And then the way they played, and the way they went about the job, and everything about the game, apart from that last little percentage of play, was spot on. So, you know, maybe that one, but, you know, result-wise, you wouldn't know, you're still looking for the win. Um, today's been a big one, because, they're, you know, in a, in a slightly different way, to have to ground out a result, which is more important than anything. At the yeah. moment, we need, we need results. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, controversially at the FA Cup, we we know your views on that from mm-hmm. the, the media reports. Yeah. But um, how much importance will you put on the FA Trophy and the Bed Senior Cup in comparison to a possible good finish towards the league season come the end of the season? I, th- I think uh, I think we've got to be careful. Would I take a good FA Trophy run personally and stay in this league next season? No. I'd, I'd want promotion first and foremost. My yeah. first day in the season is promotion. Okay. And I still that way and I still want that. That's still achievable. You know, it's still, I think it's still achievable, yeah. 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 You know, um, it's tight. I think from the from being in the bottom three to being in the top probably five or six, it's tight. You know, but once you're in the top five or six and you've got your momentum and you've been in there a couple of weeks, you've got a great chance of kicking on again yeah. and really getting up there in amongst it. Um, but, you know, the trophy is important. It's important, you know, financially. It's important for the for the for the town and for getting some supporters back in the grounds. You know, cups always bring interest for whatever reason. You know, whoever you are, cups always bring that added little bit of interest, and we need that. And we need the fans back through the through, through the gates. Right. You know, to come and support us, support the boys. Yeah. And we said again, the local lads. A lot of them are local lads. Yeah. And I'd like, you know, I'd love a little bit of more support. So I'm sure the chairman will do, and the rest of the directors. Mm-hmm. Know. Well, four of the next eight games are away. You know that we've got a difficult November. How much do you think that will shape our season after when we come to the end of November? It, it could do. You know, it could it could well shape shape the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, that's why these games were, um, you know, it's important that we win our home games. It's definite. So like it gives you, it takes slightly a bit of pressure off you away from home, but it gives you that good incentive to go and pick points away from home. Yeah. Um, I think you. I think I've got to start reminding them. So you know, all the coaching staff remind them of of how well they can play at home, uh, away from home. Should say, you know, we pick points up away from home, and we need to remember that if we play our football 
and we address it in the right way and we work hard and we close people down and we pop the ball around, we'll still, whether we're home or away, we'll give people problems. Yeah. You know, we've got enough in us mm-hmm. to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, and it might it depends if we can get an early an early win in the in the space of the, the away games, mm-hmm. it just builds confidence. Mm-hmm. You know, but it is an important time. Yeah. I think you're right there, it's a really important time now. Yeah. That may it may well shape the rest of the season. Yeah. It may well do. Yeah. And um just What's the latest on Steve Gentle, uh, and in particular after Jonathan Wolf's injury today, it looks a nasty one. Yeah. Uh, what's the time stamp for the both of them? Steve Gentle is... I've got to make a phone call tonight. He's played the, he's played the Rezies again today. Mm-hmm. Um, providing that he's come through that OK free of injury in any way, shape or form, he'll be back in the squad next week. Right. Um, he'll, be, he'll be fine. Mm-hmm. He's got a couple of games inside him, a bit of fitness, mm-hmm. which is what he needed, and match practice. He's got that. And I say... Failing that everything's okay, he'll be fine, he'll be back in the squad next next week. Wolfie has gone off to hospital uh, with a possible suspected fractured leg. So, obviously, we're waiting now. Uh, the physio's waiting to hear from the hospital uh, what's the extent of the injury. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he knows, he's going to phone me and I'll know. Um, so, but at the moment, we suspect that he might have fractured his uh, fibula. Which is going to be a massive, massive blow, like right? so, you know, you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Cheers, Stuart. Thanks very much. Cheers. That's fine. Thank you, mate. So-